Project Pegasus. This is a uh, interesting topic. It involves time travel and time manipulation. In decades past, the concept of time travel and time slips were related to pop culture references to like Back to the Future and the Terminator. American lawyer Andrew Basiago. Time travel not only exists, it is part of a real life Philadelphia experiment that includes teleportation technology, trips to Mars, and remote sensing military experiments. Andrew Basiago claims to be one of 140 kids who in the late 70s participated in a DARPA time trip space travel called Project Pegasus. The covert project succeeded in using previously undisclosed Nikola Tesla papers to harness something called radiant energy, a universal force which bends time space and allows for real time teleportation travel as well as. is supposedly capable of not only yielding a truly revolutionary 21st century teleportation, it has resulted in bases on Mars and government jump rooms where chrononauts, often children, because of their ability to withstand the wear and tear of time travel, leap through stargates like tunnels using advanced holographic technology. scientists would lend support to the idea of macroscopic objects such as people time traveling. But how unlikely is it for particles to time travel? According to some, not very. Particle physicists Tom Wheeler and Chu Man Ho say that recent experiments at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN suggest the possibility of revolutionary and some say dangerous particles. The Higgs singlets, as they are called, may be able to send messages between the future and the past. The theory of sending messages through time is supported by the M theory, audaciously known as the theory of everything, and is subscribed to by prominent physicist Maso Maya, who has publicly stated he believes the frequent failures and setbacks of CERN are the result of interferences from time traveling experiments. In 2011, a controversial discovery at LHC CERN suggested the possibility that neutrinos can travel faster than the speed of light, that they can essentially be made to appear before the experiments which actually created them. The finding raises the possibility that Einstein's immutable law of physics, the universal constant known as the speed of light, is not in fact immutable. This, along with other stunning astronomical discoveries in the last couple of years, leaves the door open to a new conception of reality that may involve some sort of time travel. Now I'm going to read from the probe words of Donald Marshall. He also talks about Project Pegasus, but more specifically, about the CERN Collider being a, a bounce back machine that's able to bounce time back when it collides protons. The collider has been used hundreds of times. The first
first collision since the start date. Then, day or two later, if they collide again, they can go back. The whole universe goes back to the original collision. But people with chips in their heads recall the erase day. Some others get deja vu, but that's all. They do it with lots of stuff for many applications. They collide protons and then bounce back time. If a person goes on TV and tells all about cloning or underground lizards or anything that they don't want them to talk about, if rioting starts in the streets and the queen is killed and bad governments are hung from lampposts, the guys at the Project Collider, they just slam protons again. Bang! We're back to before. The person who told all, well, they just killed them. And the problem is solved. That's how it works. The person's televised speech never happens. No riots. No nothing. It's a pretty reliable security feature. But they can only do it a maximum of nine times. center of the earth and swallow the solar system. On the tenth time, definitely. On the ninth, it's still risky. They did this to me several times when I exposed the truth about the real lizards. So, this was an excerpt from Donald Marshall's Pro Board page. So, his involvement with Project Pegasus and CERN deals with time bounce backs and Andrew Basiago talks about the DARPA experiments with Project Pegasus and how it can also be used as a method to bend time and space so that great distances can be traveled, uh, for example, between Earth and Mars, as well as bouncing back by a tremendous amount, Basiago claims to have gone back to the 1800s and various other times in the future and past. So this is a look into Project Pegasus 